Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total Realism with me, Grey Hunter. Where last time we ended on a bit of a cliffhanger, where Augustus Galba was going to be attacking, well, being attacked by two Seleucid armies outside of Sinope. We don't have all that much infantry because I stripped him of a lot of infantry so we could support uh, Herius Sabinus, and. I don't know whether we'll get a good battleground. Let's hope we do. If we get a good battleground, we can probably hold. But this is going to be a very, very defensive fight. We do not have a number advantage, but we also don't have the uh, the infantry, which has usually been what's saved us in the past. We've had the good infantry, we've had the better infantry that has been able to fight its way out of the predicaments I put them into. Hopefully... An eagle oh, hello. Three times, then flew towards Ooh. the rising sun. Such a portent can only mean a good day for us today. Well, Galba, you make your there speech. the army of the Seleucid king, proud and confident to a man. But they die like anyone else, so do not fear them. The first move in this particular game is theirs, I think. Just a little bit, yeah. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today, so together we will gain another victory. Now, take up the sword, no. string your bow, look to your arm. So basically he's not going to say anything about that awesome hill. Are we within reach of it? Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. It is right in our deployment zone. Okay, we have this one. We're all set. The only way we could lose is if something disastrously wrong happens. Alright, you guys. Make sure you don't skirmish. You will fire over the heads of our infantry. Nice. And these guys will anchor the line. Like so. There we are. And Galba himself will be out on the flank because I think that the two armies will come separately. I'd imagine they would. So let's move a little bit further down into the, the uh, little valley thing that we've got going here. So this is just about perfect. Because we've got this on our flank. So what are we facing? Some Galatians, some Hoplites, and some Peltasts. Okay. We should be able to fight that fairly easily, I'd imagine. Uh, fire arrows or not? Not. Yeah, fire arrows are a bad plan. We want to kill them all, not make them run. If we break one unit too early, we won't be able to send Galba's cavalry out after them. This is nice. So what's the range that we've got on this lot? Okay, we have time for a good two, three volleys. Depending on how they attack. Depending on where they go for. It looks like they're going straight up the center though. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Apparently these hoplites are far less armored than the regular version. I like it. I wonder if that's in their unit stats. No? What is that? Oh, they've got 25 defense. We have 34. Yeah, I guess. Alright, charge. Charge. Cavalry, come round and wrap up the rear. We should have this fairly easily. Come on, cavalry. Go, go, go. We need to route this unit, or at least kill the general. Attack. Oh, come on. Catch up. What are they doing? I have no idea. Right, wavering. Broken. Both broken. Alright, kill them all. Now we should be able to kill all these guys with the cavalry. Or we could retreat a little bit and let them 
come back at us, I guess. We killed the infantry. Alright, there we go. We're killing some of them. Alright. Let's charge this lot into them. Galba's doing pretty well, actually. Come on, run. Get in here. I need you to help. You guys can go back on fire at will, because we'll retreat up the hill in a second. Alright, kill them. The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee. Back up the hill. The cavalry will have to deal with those guys. Alright, fire at will. And hoplites to flank. I don't think we're gonna end up killing everybody, unfortunately. We'll do a good job of it. We'll try. How many are you going to get away? 32, 25. Yeah, this unit's actually kind of not that important, so let's chase these guys down instead. Come on, go, 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 go. Alright, you kill them and then retreat at the last second. You guys don't get to fire at will anymore. Stop it. Thank you. Actually, yeah, you guys shouldn't fire at will either. Go, go, go. How far have they got until they get to the line? Eh, probably too far. Oh, hey, we got the general. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Alright, now we won't worry about the rest of them. So you guys get back in position. You guys fire at will, and you guys fire at will. Perfect. Alright, did you catch up? Not particularly. Alright, try and kill as many of these guys as you can. The enemy army will still probably rout, but it'd be nice to kill all of them. I'll probably stay back here, I think. We'll start riding up behind them very slowly. There we go. What are you shooting at and how did you get injured? I think they just killed one of their own men. Idiots. Alright. So let's start riding back up here. We don't want to get too close. We want them to commit to charging at our other men up on the hill. But I'd like to be in position to take advantage of their uh, advance up the hill and subsequent breaking. Because they're going to break. We've lost 1% of our force in total. Come on. We should start turning to the left. Well, their left, our right. There we go. Not quite sure what they want to do. Hmm. Alright, let's bring the cavalry back up here. Hopefully that'll make them move up. It'd be nice if they did. Alright, there we go. Yeah. The AI is pretty clever in terms of uh, realizing threats to its rear and that sort of thing. So you just want to be careful when you're uh, trying to trick them into leaving your cavalry alone, because sometimes they'll go, hang on, wait a minute, that's cavalry, that can hurt us. We're going to deal with this right now. Come on. Up that damn hill. There you go. Alright, looks like they're leaving the Sparabara to the rear and attacking with the Hoplites. Looks like they're marching across us as well. It's probably because they're going for Cav. Let's move the cavalry a little bit. See if they change. Yeah, they're changing direction. Clever bastards. Alright, well hopefully we can kill a lot of them by doing this. How did you manage to kill your own guy? Seriously, how? How do you do that? Whatever.
Right, our other guy should be starting to throw their peeler in a second. Nice, nice. This unit will probably break straight away. This one's going to be a bit more tricky. Start putting the general out to the side again. See if we can get them to change direction. Wow. Yes, we can. Oh, wow. They literally just turned around. What idiots. Alright, no more shooting. Wow. No. Continue. Kill them all. Only frightened rabbits running from our men. Wow. Alright, let's just uh, mop them up then. Kill them all. That was... That was pretty impressive. I'm, I'm impressed with that. Really? Come on, kill. There you go. Now you're doing it. Wow. That was surprisingly easy, actually. Sploosh. There we go. Rome demands victory. Yes, Rome does indeed demand victory. How many men did we lose? 16. Wow. How many men got away in total? Like 70. I think we've got the city. I think we may have just got the city. That would be nice. Victory! Okay, cool. Oh yeah, Smyrna. Hello. So what are we actually facing in here? I can't remember. Lots of soldier soldiers. These guys are a bit of a worry. Well, let's see what we can do. So the two Galbas are fighting, it would seem. And apparently the victory music decided it had to play, even though we haven't actually won the victory right yet. Alright, so... <clears throat> you. You need to get rid of siege equipment, so do you. Thank you very much, and we need to prepare. You gentlemen will line up along that way. These fellows to your flank here, with these guys backing him up. You I don't want on skirmish. You'll come up here, you'll probably act more like light cav for this one. These guys need to be behind it, behind the line, and prepared to stand their ground, and these fellows, like so. Alright, go. Go, go, go. They're probably going to start running straight at us. We have to be ready. I don't think I'll turn on fire at will just yet. I want to see which way they'll be coming at us first. Because it looks like they're coming out of this gate too. I think they are. So let's see what they throw at us first. Before deciding whether or not to put these guys on fire at will. I don't want to waste uh, the spears and pillar on um, skirmishes. I want to use them on actual infantry. Or, well, cavalry too for that matter. Just guys that can actually hurt us. Skirmishes are more of a annoyance. Alright, so let's speed this up. What are all you guys? Alright, well, I think that's the Chaka Speedies. Or the Kira Speedies, whatever they are. It looks like they're just arraying in a line of battle. And they're going to come straight head on at us. Yeah, it looks like. 
Alright, well, we use our ammunition on whatever presents itself, I suppose. You guys get up. What have we got? Surti and Spearmen. Yeah, there they are. The actual killers. So, let's actually have a look at them. See, their total defense is less than the hoplites, and yet they always seem to take ages to kill. I don't know. Alright, it might be worth just charging straight down the hill at them. Let's see if we can throw most of our peeler first, though. Alright, charge. They have the general? Really? Okay, kill. Shaken, steadied. The enemy general's running. Alright, let's chase all of his men. As many of them as we can. We need to concentrate on breaking them. If we can get them all to run at the same time. Oh, come on. Alright, charge. We need that cavalry. Wow, we actually caught those guys. Good job, us. Go. Alright, kill the rest of these sons of bitches. And you guys, attack. Alrighty, if we can break that unit... I think we have it. Oh, come on. Damn it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to fight, fight them. Come on, go, go, go. Get in there. We can get Galba through the gates. I think we can capture them. Frinkapay is getting there too. Just keep running. Come on. Keep on running. Keep on running. No, 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 no. Run. Get through, get through. Ooh. Yeah, that's why I don't like taking gates. But I think we can keep up the momentum and just keep running our men through there. Ah. Yeah, they're going to take more casualties than I'd like. We need to fight. We need to kill them. General flees. All right, you need to take that gate. God damn it! Boiling oil again. Come on, guys, get through there. Oi! How's this going? Really? For real? Okay, well, you guys have fun. God oh, damn it, the oil got more guys. Yeah, that is that is like a killing ground right there. All those dead guys from the oil. Come on guys, get up there. Get up there right now. I need you to go. Alright, 
you don't get to be part of this group anymore. He's not in here. Wait, what? Really? Good job, guys. Well done. And get the hell out of there. Oh, there's one guy trapped on the other side. Poor dude. Gate's taken. Thank God. Alright. No, no, no. We need to withdraw. Oh, hey. Did we get him? I don't think so. Okay, now I think we got him. <laughs> Enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Come on, guys, be done. Please. Thank you. All right. Get in there. Come on, Brigapayas, run. Run, run, run. You need to line up right there. Go, go, go. Retreat. Come on, sound the retreat. Good God. Alright, hell with it, charge. Need Galba to get up here too, in that case. Yeah, 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 victory seems certain. They're gonna lose, but we're taking a lot more casualties than I'd like to. There we go. Much better. The enemy yes, end battle. Thank this God. So we lost about 400 men. But that's actually not that bad, considering how many people were actually in here. Eh, it's not bad. And we got a world wonder too, I believe. Can't recall what it's called, though. Temple of Artemis, maybe? Um, what do they reckon about us? They, eh. Let's kill them. Oh god, yes. Hello, Thrace. What would you be thinking? Well, now. Alright, let's quick save that. Lock it in. Uh, resistance is futile in Snope and Smyrna. I wonder captured. Yeah, Temple of Artemis. does look pretty damn cool. So what that does is reduce the cost of building religious buildings. Immensely helpful, considering how many temples you can build here. It obviously doesn't count for stuff that you're already building, but it would be cool to have in any playthrough, I would imagine. So shrines and such should cost less, I think. Or is it just certain ones? No, no. New religious buildings by 30%. So this must be like 850 or something. Or he's got a trait that says he's bad at building. I don't know. I can't see it. I don't think he does. I could be wrong. Alright. But he did really, really well. I'm very pleased. And he got a trait in increase? No, no. Cassius Porcius Licinius did. Who's that? Oh, this guy hanging out in the, ta in the town? Yes? No? Yes. yes oh, nice. Well done. Good job, you. Okay, so what are we facing? What can we see right now? We've got two mid stacks, a full stack coming right at us. Another full stack that can't actually reach us. Where can you get to? He can get almost to us. It would probably be advisable to go out and meet him. Probably. Don't really want to, though. Can't see anything coming down this way, but let's advance our spies up. I can't do that, sir. No. All right, well, we've got a ton of new, new uh, spies that we can use. So we can start moving up this way. There's a Thracian family member. I wonder if they're thinking about attacking because we're doing a ton of damage. Okay, you can get into this 
this town. 